Okay, so the uh, tires here, the uh, rubber, you can see where the blade has run for, for years there. As far as major cracks, uh, there are not any major cracks that I see, but certainly um, I could understand wanting to replace the wheels. Uh, similar, excuse me, the tires. Uh, similar up here as well on this one. Um, there's no major cracks, but there are some cracks along the edges that you can see. Um, so that's uh, your call there. As far as the bearings go, these two spin quite freely. Uh, this one, not so much. Okay. So again, I'll let you make the determination there. That one definitely seems to need to be replaced for sure. Okay, as we're going through this, uh, this knob is, is one that I fabricated um, out of wood. This was missing. Um, these two bolts, when I purchased the saw, uh, these two uh, bolts were our replacements of the original. The original had like a, a hand uh, thumb screw. Um, this looks like it's been re-welded, uh, but this is the original piece. You can see the original paint. Uh, you can see here, uh, at one point, uh, they had replaced this piece here. The gold, gold paint gives it away uh, when Pyromatic changed to the new paint scheme. So uh, that's a new part there. Um, and let's see, what else here? Here's the switch. Uh, this is just a... Um, uh, 20 amp switch, which is plenty for the uh, for the half horse motor. <clears throat> and then the motor itself, like I said, this is a replacement motor. This is a half horse motor that I had sitting on my shelf. That's the right frame size and RPMs and specs. Here you can see the new pulley and new belt. Um, and under here, there's a new pulley as well. Uh, in another video, I'll uh, show that. Um, here's another piece that I fabricated. Um, it does not perfectly match the, the one here, but uh, the threads are correct and it does, it does the job. Um, uh, this is a, a little pin that I fashioned. I just I got a bolt and um, uh, ground down some of the threads so it would fit in there like it's supposed to to keep the the uh, tabletop level. I'm trying to think what else I need to reference here for you. Here you can see the school that it was in, Randolph County Schools, North Carolina, and then the blade length uh, right there. So um, I'll stop this video, I'll plug it up, and uh, turn it on.